welcome to Money Inspiration. My name is Sandy Levick. In this episode, I am going to be raising the bar and resetting my financial targets for 2013. So they are actually targets that inspire me and not just targets I think are possible. So I'm physically going to be raising the bar. <laughs> so uh, watch and see what I mean. It's pretty early in the morning. I haven't even brushed my hair yet, but I had this idea and I just had to come out to the sea to do it. So I found this bar. Okay, and there just happens to be a dog next to it. <laughs> so this bar is really quite easy for me to touch, yeah? There we go, touching the bar. Bar touching is taking place. And I didn't even have to go on my tiptoes. I am flat on my feet. So the bar is only about a metre high. It's about four times the height of a cocker spaniel. <laughs> so what happens when and we go to a bigger bar? So this is a slightly bigger bar, a lot higher bar. And I have to actually reach to, to get that. Feet no longer on the floor having to reach. But you know, I'm not having to jump. It's not really that exciting. I wouldn't go out of my way to come and slightly stretch to touch a bar. So what happens if we go to a bar that's really high? Like that one. That's my eye level. That's the bar. Clearly I have no hope in hell of touching it. <laughs> I can try. Uh, trying to touch the bar. Trying to touch the bar. Uh, trying to touch the bar. I could even raise the bar higher. Over here. And now I have really no hope of touching it. That's my eye level. Oh, it's almost as high as a lamppost. So, <laughs> see, I'd have to work at that. That would be something I could get my teeth into. So I'm now going to do this for my financial targets. I set them at the start of the year, and I can see now that I set them when I was in a more of a limited mindset because they were about five thousand dollars, three thousand eight hundred euros for the next six months and then going up to 10,000 a month by the end of the year and now <laughs> after doing more research and connecting to way more people in internet marketing I'm realizing that that's like trying to touch the bar that was about four times the size of Chico <laughs> it's not really that inspiring so um, I'm going to be resetting my targets in fact I am to 30,000 dollars a month and uh, I know that I can do that and the fact that it's much more out of my comfort zone actually inspires me more because it's more of a challenge so it, and it reminds me of when I used to work in political lobbying we um, we had a campaign which was to change British law uh, about licensing and you know we could have some people advise us to have a bit of a lower aim and to, to change policy and to try and get a certain district to do things differently instead of the whole country. But my director at the time and my colleagues and I were, were certain that we really had to go for the top. We had to get the Prime Minister, the government and the House of Lords of Britain to agree to change the law. And we did it. <laughs> and the fact that we had such a lofty target I know helped us to get there and it's like Tim Ferriss in the 4 hour work week says a lot of people tend to set mediocre targets a little bit like my my starting financial target when actually it's the bigger stuff that gets us fired up and gets us going so uh, I'm going to be resetting my target try doing it with a run up now see if that makes a difference
No. <laughs> it doesn't. 